from today's iPhone.com and this is the Zoom IQ5 microphone. It's a stereo microphone, professional grade quality microphone that you, but essentially you can see the lightning port on the edge there and that means you can plug it into any of your iOS devices that use a lightning connector. Now what this will do obviously is that it will let you record higher quality sound than what you would normally get from your built-in microphone on your iPhone or iPad. So whether you want to record video or whether you want to record um, just audio, you will get better quality sound from this. It's got a built-in stereo microphone inside. Uh, it's got a, an unusual makeup in that it's got two, uh, it's got a left and a right side microphone and also a mid microphone. And all in all, it's supposed to give you a good range so you get a good sort of feeling as to the direction of where the sound's coming from in terms of stereo. But it will also give you a much wider range of tones and higher frequencies, lower frequencies than what you would get on your standard microphone and obviously a lot less noise as well. Go through over the hardware features first. And what you'll see is this is the main body, big piece of shiny plastic. And I say big, it's actually pretty small, very pocketable. On the left hand side here, you have a switch that lets you change the range of where the sound's coming from, i.e. the angles that it'll pick it up from. So a wider sound will be the 120 degrees. You can put it to 90 degrees, which actually makes the stereo sound a little bit easier to hear. And the last option is mid-side recording, which allows you to have a much better control over what kind of angle you want it to record the stereo from. So the width of the stereo can go from 30 to 150 degrees, and it will let you focus, let's say, for instance, on a single instrument, so if you want to record a guitar that's right in front of it, then obviously you make the angle narrow. But on the right hand side here, you have a gain switch, which you can switch auto gain on, off or limit it. But then you actually have a fully manual gain scroll wheel just on the right hand edge here. So you can boost it up if your sounds too loud or too quiet. And what's really handy about this microphone is that you also have a headset jack on the left edge so you can always listen in on your audio so regardless of whatever the app on the iPhone is telling you this the signal is doing you always get a better feel for it if you actually have headphones plugged in and of course you have a USB input and this rather oddly is mini USB and not micro USB um, this is the main microphone itself on the end as you can see it's got this rather cool sort of disco ball design to it, big silver ball here, uh, right and left microphones and also you've got your middle point signaled with a red dot. And what you also have on the top part here is a rubber pad, sorry, on the underside. And that means that when you're recording things like uh, music, for instance, you can just rest it on the table like so and the pad is there just so you can rest it down. But also if you want to use it to record a video and you have the phone in your hand, you can turn it this way and point the mic the same way that your video is going. So let's attach it to the iPhone and we'll get a better feel as to its size, dimensions and how it works. So that's it plugged to the iPhone. Now it does come with an app which I have already downloaded, the Handy Recorder. We'll open that up. Let's just keep an eye on these green bars here. Now as I told you already we have got a gain switch on the side and if I pop it all the way up to 10 you'll see that now I am actually peaking uh, we're going into the red on the other end so what I want to do is to achieve something that's about somewhere going in between green and yellow so I'll just keep popping it down like so I'm pink, maybe a bit too much now um, but again you use that on the side or I can plug in a set of headphones now you can record from here just by pressing the red button uh, so I'm going to do that and then while I do it I'm going to switch the audio in my video edit just so that you can hear what the actual video sounds like and if I point it towards myself a little bit more we should get a better feel of what the audio is like. But the app has a lot of functions that you would expect a Zoom professional personal sorry, stereo recorder to feature and you can actually change the white, the angle of the focus of the stereo mic um, like I said, it's set to the mid setting, but I can switch it to 120 or 90 and it won't let me necessarily change it as easily. If I put it on the wide setting, uh, you can change the actual level of the audio going through the headphone jack just by sliding that across. Um, and you can go into the menu and you can change all sorts of settings or see various settings like changing the mic gain, 
Um, you can change the bit rates, the recording formats, the auto gain, um, all that kind of stuff. And you can skip through your files. If I go into my file manager, you'll see I've got a, a file actually recorded there and I can cut it or delete it. I've been really impressed with it. I think the user interface is something that if you're used to this kind of personal recorder, you will easily get on with it if you're into media and you like to record that kind of stuff. Um, then you will know exactly how to use this thing. But the fact is that it's on your iPhone. You don't have to have your own personal recorder. So the price of the Zoom IQ5 is about $100, which, which is similar in price to what you would pay for the actual bespoke full-on personal stereo recorders that they actually make themselves. But the convenience and the size of it means that you don't have to really carry two big devices around with you all the time. You can just plug this into your iPhone and away you go. We're going to record some audio and what I'll also do is I'm going to record some audio from a guitar. Um, we'll see how it sounds on the Zoom mic and then we'll also record some sounds using the microphone built into the iPhone itself. If you want to ask me any questions about the Zoom IQ5, I'm at TIP underscore Cam on Twitter. I'll see you again soon.